So the court at last has had a taste of the kind of evidence that Radovan Karic will one day have to face here. When that day will be is still far from clear, because Karadzic has again succeeded in pushing it further into the future. And in Bosnia, this enduring sense of justice not yet done means that all the... Hidden in these secret documents are American dreams that died and nightmares that came true. They show the ambition, the scale, and at times the honesty of a superpower's secret life. And they also may reveal the places and problems that in the end might weaken US power for good. And that was the final program to be broadcast on Analog BBC2 in London. Engineers are about to switch off what was Europe's first regular colour television service and switched over from black and white in 1967. Well now, BBC Two in London will be available only on digital. So for London's analogue viewers, you've been watching BBC Two. season continues tomorrow at 9 or BBC3 with Mugged. Catch up with us. This is BBC Two Northern Ireland, where programmes will continue in just a minute, unless you're watching on analogue television, that is. Yes, Northern Ireland's digital switchover starts here. Shortly, we'll be turning off this analogue channel forever, and overnight, turning on some of the new high-par Freeview transmitters. This will mean that there'll be disruption to all BBC services on Freeview through the night. Analogue BBC One Northern Ireland will also be off air in some areas. All remaining analogue television will cease transmission in two weeks' time. If you or someone you know needs help or advice in switching to digital or with retuning, you can contact Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50 from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Or you can visit the website at digitaluk.co.uk. So now, analogue viewers should switch to their digital services to continue watching BBC Two Northern Ireland. If you're viewing on cable or satellite, you don't need to do anything. However, if you're watching on Freeview, you may need to retune your equipment tomorrow, and again when digital switchover completes on the 24th of this month. After 48 and a half years, this is where BBC Two says goodbye to analogue television. <laughs> that was it. It worked. <laughs> Digital BBC Two Northern Ireland and there's plenty to sing about in half an hour with Gareth Malone and the choir. But who was hitting the right note today at the Conservative Party conference? Let's find out now from James Landale. Good evening and welcome back to Birmingham for more highlights from the Conservative Party conference. After being mobbed on arrival last night, Boris Johnson took centre stage in the Symphony Hall today, careful to support the Prime Minister, but characteristically happy to please the crowds. <laughs> Elsewhere, some of the Cabinet's heaviest hitters address their party. I wonder, Marvis, kindly innocent man, because I wonder if you realise just how much of a genius he was and how much those words would come true. The world would be amazed.
views and less bit on the new channel. That was the last program on Leap Seek 2 on analog television. From tomorrow morning, Leap Seek 2 will be digital only in these areas. Services will be offered at tonight, whilst the final engineering works are carried out. From 6 a.m. tomorrow, you may need to retune your preview television or box to continue watching Leap Seek 2. What makes a house home to a queen? They do have to be done by the same. We have this kind of device. A little book. They're all special bound. What a corker! This is a state of the West. It's an 18th century Poland. Join the other groups for a private year of the Queen's Palace. Starting with the Buckingham Palace, 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 Space. For viewers in West Midlands and Yorkshire, that was the last program on BBC Two on analog television. From tomorrow morning, BBC Two will be digital only in these areas. Services will be off air tonight whilst the final engineering works are carried out. From 6 a.m. tomorrow, you may need to retune your preview television or box to continue watching BBC Two. What makes a house home to a So after that attack on his apartment, we'll need to keep Catherine safe. There's more Rubicon next on BBC Two. What happens when one of Britain's best look comedians braves the harsh Thames? For the ultimate sport relief challenge. Now, the first part of it is over. Digital switchover started in Northern Ireland last night when the BBC Two analog service was turned off for good. The transition to digital services will be completed in a fortnight's time when the rest of the analog signal is switched off as well. Conor McCauley reports. Northern Ireland's digital switchover starts here. In a technical area of BBC Northern Ireland, the director Peter Johnson and engineer Ruth Sloan wait to pull the plug on 48 years of television history. Just after midnight, the old station ident was run with this message. After 48 and a half years, this is why BBC Two says goodbye to analog television. <laughs> Digital BBC Two Northern Ireland and It was the start of the digital switchover, which will be completed in two weeks' time when the rest of the analogue signal is turned off.